Alright guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. This is the third time I'm going to record this video. The other two I screwed up on audio somehow, but that's not your problem, that's mine. I'm here to tell you guys today about a gaming headset that is $49.00. And 20 cents. So we're from here on out, we're gonna say it's $50. So right there off the bat, that should have your attention. But of course, right off the bat, you're probably wondering for $50, it's probably not that good. So the pair we're gonna be talking about today is the Cougar Phonum gaming headset. Now before we get into all the other stuff, we definitely need to address the elephant in the room. These things have the most mass, hold on. These things have the most massive ear pads I've ever seen. Like on my head, these look ridiculously huge. This, this, I'm gonna go sit back in the chair. But what that does is allow you some of the most comfortable gaming headsets I've ever used. Now you guys know that I rave about HyperX being one of the most comfortable headsets out there. These ear pads make them even more comfortable than the HyperX headphones. And what's even better than that, we're gonna start with accessories. They even give you an extra smaller pair of ear pads. So like if these are too big and too thick and, and they kind of are if you're gonna wear these in public, well, these are the option that you'd want to use if you're going to wear them in public. But I can tell you now, between the two, if you're gaming, you're going to want to leave these big ass donut ear pads on there because they're not going to get any better than this. Um, the other thing is the cable on here is non-removable. So what is also included in the box, because obviously the non-removable cable, you can plug into your um, headphone jack to your phone or the switch or you know, straight into the controllers of the PS4 and the Xbox One. But obviously PC users know you need the split cable to be able to plug one into the headphone jack, one into the microphone jack. And that's where this very long included cable comes into play. Now the little box that it plugs into gives you the mic mute on and off right here, and also a volume wheel to be able to control your volume straight from the cable itself. Uh, the only other included accessory is the microphone. Now it simply just plugs in right into the headphone headset itself so that you can take it off if you want to use this in public. Now it definitely adjusts to the way that you want easily. Um, and so since we're talking about the microphone let's go ahead and do a mic test right now all right guys so here is the mic test on the cougar phonum gaming headset as you can tell for 50 bucks this isn't bad at all um, it is a digital microphone you can tell that maybe with the s's and the p's you're gonna pick up some of the popping sound um, but again I think the bargain here is also with the sound but with the microphone this will definitely get the job done all right, so as you can see, for $50, the microphone isn't bad. Now, is it incredible? No, and there's better options out there as far as the microphone goes. But if you're somebody that is just like, this microphone will do the trick, and you want incredible sound, that's where you want to go with these. Now let's get into the design and everything to do with the headset itself. Um, as far as build quality, you have 53 millimeter drivers in here. That is huge in a gaming headset. They're also dual chambers, so there's a lot of air in the sound, which makes them feel pretty spacious when listening to these during games and during music. It doesn't feel like it's trapped right here on your head. Uh, build quality, metal frame right here, where you have the adjustment slider that slides up and down. Cougar's logo is right here, and also right on top, right here on the leather, it's just kind of embossed in there. It's very simple, very subtle. There's nothing about these that are like very flashy. Um, there is orange underneath uh, the headband. Headband doesn't have a whole lot of padding, but I promise you it doesn't need it. These things while on, and you could wear these all day, are gonna be one of the most comfortable things you've ever used. Uh, left and right are marked on the inside. As you can see, there are the little cables that run from the ear cups up into the headband. Just like I've always said, this design makes me nervous because anything at any time could like cut these or grab these and rip them out, and you're not gonna really be able to replace them. Uh, on the outside of the ear cups, it's like a mesh grill that kind of gives you the illusion that these are open back headphones. 
I'm telling you right now, they're not, but sound wise, they can come pretty close. Um, again, got to talk about the ear pads. These are so deep that honestly, if, if somebody out there has ears that can touch the drivers in these ear pads, I would love to know on, on the, in the comment. I would love to see somebody that their ears can touch this because I think it's pretty impossible with the way these are built. Sound like $50, are you thinking what I was thinking and that these can't sound like anything special? Like there's gotta be a catch to where it's like, okay, 50 bucks, you get what you pay for. And <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how they did it, but $50, you're getting a hell of a lot more than what you paid for. Sound is, it's amazing. It really does sound open and airy and, and a lot of separation, which is in, incredible for games, but it does wonders for movies, uh, music. Music itself is where these, to me, were just so fun to plug into. And, and plugging these into an amp, these things plugged into an amp could reach frequencies that most headphones can't. Um, you'll notice, if, especially if you're somebody that uses an amp, if you try to elevate you know, in certain bass range that some headphones can't handle it, like they'll distort or just simply can't you know, show certain frequencies. These handled them perfectly. Uh, mids and trebles sound really good. Vocals sound really good. Um, picking up sounds in games, picking up you know subtle sounds is easy to do. Um, these do have um, a pretty good warm sound signature. They have plenty of punch. So explosions and bass just flows very well into the rest of the sound. Now, I, I don't know if that's the 53 millimeter drivers doing that. Um, but something Cougar was able to do in these just makes other gaming headsets that are 100, 150, 200, all that, it baffles me how some companies can charge that amount of money for a gaming headset when you have alternatives out here. Now, obviously, you're not paying for the brand name. You're paying for a company you've never heard of. You're paying for some big ass ear pads that look like donuts that you might not want to wear in public. You're paying for some things that are kind of questionable here, but for $50, I can tell you, you're getting way, way more than you're bargaining for. Like, it sounds it sounds so good. Like, this could easy, easily replace studio headphones that you may use just for music listening, especially if you plug these things into an amp. Now, I, I will say plugging these things into my phone, it wasn't anything special. Like, I don't know what it was, it just didn't do anything. Um, but plugging these into the Switch, plugging these straight into the PS4 controller, like the volume level is perfect uh, because some headsets just don't get to a really good level. Overall, talking about the headset itself, build quality, look at that, stretch it out. These things rotate, swivel, and everything in a way that no matter what your head size, you have a big ass watermelon head, you're okay. If you have the tiny peanut head, you're okay. This thing will fit all of your needs, um, big or small. These don't get uncomfortable. They get a little warm after some time, but that's just because these are just pleather, leatherish ear pads. Uh, there's no air in them. Comfort is very hard to beat. Microphone is good. If you want a better microphone for $50, go with the HyperX Cloud Stinger. But if you want better sound for $50, Go with these. I can't recommend them enough. Um, $50, these are the king of $50 gaming headsets, in my opinion. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Thank you guys so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.